Oh, oh, let's have a little bit of therapy. Lee wants me to smash my old laptops because they are in storage. So it's, it's a shame, it's a shame, isn't it? But there's that bit. Now I'm doing it in the box so that the screen don't go everywhere. You open it and see what happened. <laughs> Might not be able to open it. <laughs> see, sacrilege, isn't it? An old MacBook Pro. Very broken MacBook Pro now. Bye. And another one. I'm not even going to bother trying to open that one. Bye. Happy Sundays everyone and start of another vlog. I've got to be careful how I go here. You see this old shit? I don't like it. That's going to have to come off, isn't it? It's making me itching. Don't you think it just makes me look a bit dirty? But anyway, have a look at this. Let me, can you see in the background? What's that? Have we bought something new? <laughs> Isn't it lovely? You know what it is, obviously. It's a Volkswagen camper. A number two, apparently. Sort of a Devon or something or other. I can't remember what Steve said it was. 1979. And I'm a bit jealous. Because it's not mine, obviously. But have a guess what? Come over here. We've got a visitor. Actually, we had a visitor last night. And we might have had a few too many beers, mightn't we, Steve? Definitely. This is Mr Duffy. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> we used to be in a band together, didn't we? We'll always be in a band together. I'll mate. tell you, should we reform the band? Let's do it. <laughs> I don't think we've got a studio now. Yeah, we've got a mobile one. Yeah. So there we go. So we had a bit of a good laugh last night, didn't we? We had a barbecue and loads of beer. And I haven't even got hangover. You got hangover? No, I'm fine. No, fine. I had to have a poo this morning, mind. No, good. No, I had to do that. He's got his own toilet and everything. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. He's got his own toilet and everything. It's fully functional, you know, that van. Van. Here's Lee. Yeah. Hello. I didn't put on any of your services, did I? I don't need to. <laughs> it's a cup of tea time, bye. <laughs> Adios, my friend. Adios. quite emotional today. Go away. So she don't like me sitting here because she's watching the funeral. No, you're bloody interfering. Shush. How am I interfering? I'm not even there. Shh. Lee, I'm going to make an apple pie. Bye. Goodbye. Happy Mondays, everyone. Well, it's actually quite late on a Monday now. Well, not quite late. It's um, 20 to 5. Lee's in the boat, still watching the Queen's funeral and all that lot. So not my kind of thing, to be honest with you. I'm not into this... Um, ritualistic stuff but each to their own all that and I think it's fantastic for the people who do like that sort of thing I'm thinking of my mum now she's sitting in the house she's got all her union flags up and all that sort of stuff so yeah oh you know all power to you lot who, who enjoy that sort of thing but so I'm not really into that um I've done my own paid my own respects to the queen she was a good person I'll stand by that and that's about it on that subject but of course I get bored because Lee's got telly on mum she's on our normal Wi-Fi network, watching GB News and watching all the coverage on there. And I'm sure there's people going, oh, you watch on GB News, what do you watch on GB News? Fascists, fascists, all that lot. But let me tell you, let me tell you, I've um, had a little look on Twitter while I was a bit bored and there's some nasty pieces of shit on there, honestly. There's, some, there's people on there putting comments, does this remind you of Nazi Germany in 1938 because of all the flags on the mall and all that sort of stuff? What... A load of useless fucking shit who so should be exterminated from this planet. And I really, you know, they're absolute idiot lefties looking for a bit of attention on their Twitter because they've got absolutely fuck all else in their lives. And it's saying they'd never, ever, ever say to my face or your face. They just do it on social media. So that winds me up. So yeah, I, I, I said to Lee while she was watching the funeral, I said, I bet if I go on Twitter now, there'd be a load of twats on there being gobshites. 
and I wasn't disappointed. Well, I was disappointed that people do that. Anyway, that's about that on that. Have you been watching the news? Well, I wouldn't have been on the news, would it? You see all the trouble in Leicester? Hmm. I won't go into that too much. Perhaps go and have a little look at what's actually going on over there. So yeah, that's a nightmare. And of course, while Lee's been um, watching the uh, funeral, I've been playing X-Plane. I've got early access on X-Plane. Now, I know lots of people, I know this is bollocks to most of you, but I do like me aeroplane simulators because I like flying. I did lots of lessons when I was a youngster, but never actually went through and uh, did the whole thing, which I do regret a little bit, I guess. But a lot of people out there, oh, they've got an Xbox and they play Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's a game. It's a game. X-Plane 12 on early access. It's not really a game. It's a proper simulation. So it's proper flight models. It's FAA approved, which means it's there like the American version of our Civil Aviation Authority. So hours you do on that, if you've got one of these dongles, then they can be registered towards your flight hours if you're doing an exam. So it's a, it's a different kind of thing. But I've enjoyed doing that. I've flown all over the place at the moment. So yeah, I think that's about it really. I've cooked a pie. I'm putting that in a separate video. So I did, I did an apple, pear, cinnamon, and um, algarve, honey, and sugar pie. Not a lot of sugar in it, because I'm not supposed to have sugar. That's why I put algarve nectar in it. And it tasted all right. Didn't taste enough cinnamon in it, but you have to watch the other video for that. And that's about my Monday at the moment. I'm just gonna have a beer. Because as I say, Lee's still in the boat, watching that stuff. And I'm just a little bit bored now. So. I would say, dilly dilly everyone. I hope you've all had a nice day. If you're into the Queen thing, I hope you've loved it. I hope you enjoyed all the pomp and circus. And I do like all the tradition of that. If you've been bored shitless with it, like me, but got on with other stuff while your missus or whatever has been watching it, well, I hope you had a good day as well. I'll see you later, bye. You all right there, Hector? Hey, what are you doing, fella? Where's the rats? Where's the rats? <coughs> He's off. Yes? What are you doing? Nin, what's it look like? Why is it that loud? You have to have ear protection on. Because you clack yeah, too much. Clacking. <laughs> Ouch. Do you remember clackers? <laughs> yes. They were like balls on a string, weren't they? That you used to take your blooming hands off with. They were really dangerous, weren't they? That's what they were. They weren't really dangerous, but we used to get bruises with them every now and again because you either hit yourself in the chin or you'd whack your hands with them. I might have to try and find a picture and put it up on screen for people who don't know what I'm on about. She's, um... Please don't put a picture of your clackers on screen. <laughs> oh dear, oh, it's going out of fact. Hector, Hector's trying to lick me. Yeah, she's nittering. Hector, you weirdo. It's blanket number two. Oh. I've been busy with work today, actually. I've just had to that's do the Qatar World Cup all again for a different thing. Oh. So that's good. Well, I haven't had to do the World Cup. I've had to do artwork for it. Because I couldn't even play football now. I'm far too fat and old and <laughs> creaky. Bye. <laughs> what are you up to, Hector? Hey? Psst. Rats. There's not as many rats as we thought, is there, Hector? Hey? Yeah, he's indifferent. Bye. Oh, shall it be a red stripe or a hobgoblin? I think it'll be a red stripe as it's the end of the working day. I think it's time to go out onto the naughty bench and have a beer. Would you like to join me? Hector's already out here. Dilly dilly, everyone. She does it every time I turn camera on the two of us. Lee, you're not allowed to lean on the bench because you rock the camera. Oh no, it don't matter, it's on a gimbal. <laughs> are you excited, Lee? Because I forgot to tell everyone. <laughs> what, what, where are we going? What are we doing? We're going camping again on Saturday. We are. I oh, know, it's going to be freezing our tits off. I've just looked at the weather and it's going to be minus seven. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, it's going to be like, well, it ain't gonna, it's going to be about 12 degrees. Yeah, that's right. So that means it's going to be about eight or nine in the night but luckily this time we've got an electrical hookup haven't we Lee Lawson? Oh yeah we have. And we've got a heater. We've got a heater. <laughs> we have, we've bought a heater for the tent. I've <laughs> got a teddy bear blanket on them thingies. Because <laughs> uh, it, was, it wasn't because of Steve coming up with the camper that made me think of it. We booked it a few days before that 
And uh, I mean, I would love a camper, but you know what? Let's say it is an awesome thing, but you can't relax like you can in a tent. It's a pain in the ass putting a tent up, but the amount of space we got in the tent, isn't it? <laughs> More than we got on the boat. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's massive amount of space. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so Lee's doing a list again. <laughs> of, um, My lovely list. Things we've got to take with us. Yes. But I'm going to take my Black Magic Cinema camera this time because I just haven't been using it so much. So I'm going to try and do something nice and cinematic with that. Well, right, try and do something a bit creative. Splendid. And um, we, I think the places we're going to go now, we're only going 50 minutes up the road, by the way, just past Corby. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called, what is it, New Lodge Farm or something? Something like that. Looks yeah. a really nice campsite, to be mm. fair. Um, but there's the viaduct. I can't remember where, what it's called, but there's a great big long concrete viaduct, which is the longest in the UK. That's not far from where we're going. So we'll see if we can get close up to that. So I might have a little chat about that, maybe about its history and bollocks, but then I might just forget. But I'll try and take some nice pictures anyway. Then we got, I kept saying it was something to do with the eyes. Was it called it was Twinkly nothing. Toes Woods or something? I don't know. It was nothing to do with eyes at all. Well, I said Twinkly Toes, so that well, was about my toes. toes. But I don't know what, yeah, it's something weird, but we're, going, we're probably going to go there. And we've probably got a Rutland Water. If you don't know what Rutland Water is, it's a blimmin' huge expanse of water. <laughs> well, it's not as big as the, the Great Lakes in, uh, in America, Canada, or wherever it is. I've been there, Huron and all that nonsense, because I went to Niagara Falls Huron. once. Yeah. And Superior. And what's the other one called, Lee? No so you got Huron, Superior, and... No I can't remember. I'm normally good at geography. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it. I just thought I'd let you know we're going camping. <laughs> it's all too much, bye. Bye. Oh, I've written a list of camping stuff in storage. Have you? <laughs> I have. Well, I didn't realise I was that organised. <laughs> <laughs> well done, I say. <laughs> Look, the swans are back. Mm. Mm. Hector's not happy. Bye. I'd love a go at that. We're getting to that time of year where people start lighting their fires in their boats, I say. That's Trevor. Well, he's not called Trevor, his boat's called Trevor, and it's a steamboat, believe it or not. But I think it's an ethanol steamboat or something. So there you go. I think his name's Ian. Yeah, he's got his fire on. There'll be a few more coming. Bye. And Lee. What? It's gone up to 18 odd pound a bag, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, apparently so. And it was 12 odd. Terrific, boy. <laughs>
But they've got numbers on, like their... Like their limited edition prints. Limited edition prints. Well, they obviously are, aren't they? So... Well, there uh, you go. That might yeah. be worth a million, Lee. <laughs> well, it might be worth two pounds. Bye. <laughs> Lee, we didn't end up getting the £4.75 ones, did we? We didn't, because they were rubbish. Well, they were all right, but they were the same ones we've got in our box at the back of the boat. But um, they looked like they'd been melted yeah, or something, yeah, and they smelled of smoke, so I reckon it had been some sort of warehouse fire or something, and they got a bit melted on the bases, So because I could smell something. So anyway, we found better boxes, but they were £11.25. <laughs> but they've got lids, but they're, <laughs> they're really dark. tough, aren't they? And now we're going to storage. <laughs> we're going to get some bags and some sauce bottles, believe it or not. Bye. <laughs> some camping equipment that we need before to fill up. Here's one of our new boxes. So that's all our cooking stuff in here for our um, little trip we're going on. And this is really built like a brick shit house. And we also have a proper lid. That's proper tough. So yeah, it's worth spending the money on that, I think. Bye. I'm really quite excited now about going camping. I know we're only going 50 minutes up the road, but um, yeah, it's not looking good for the weather, mind. It's looking really quite crap. I think when we turn up, it might be raining, so we might have to put the tent up in the rain. But yeah, so what? Then I think Sunday is okay. Monday's raining and Tuesday might be raining too. So we might be packing the tent up in the rain. So I don't know where and how we're going to dry it, but we're still going. Unless there's going to be some really bad rain or terrible wind or something, then uh, we're not going to cancel it. We're just going to go and have a bit of a laugh. So we're starting to get all our bits together. We've been up to storage, as just seen, and that was just to get a few bits that we needed to pack or to get packed into, if you know what I mean. Stuff we just needed here anyway before. Because what we'll do is uh, we'll get the main stuff, go to storage and actually leave from storage and then go up to... Well, it's, up near, it's, well, it's not actually Rutland Water, but we're not that... We're about, 12 or 15 miles from Rutland Water I think so that's going to be fun that's about that I'm so excited it's all too much by oh by the way we'll do a special video for that one obviously it won't be in the normal vlog so I'll be carry on camping with the vlog couple again I'll say bye that's Lee going off to do a I think she's doing Pilates tonight she did Zumba this morning and she's doing Pilates tonight and I'm getting some exercise too Right then, let's uh, see what your opinion of this is. Yesterday, I was sitting on the boat doing work and when I'm do actually doing some proper drawing and stuff or design, I tend to have the boat quite silent so I don't have the radio on or anything on because I need to kind of concentrate. But I could hear this noise in the background and it was, um, well, it was a boat running its engine. And the thing is, it's got a, it sounds like it's got a cracked exhaust. And I thought, hmm, that's a bit strange because it didn't go on just for 10 minutes. It went on for hours, to be honest with you. And I thought, hmm, yeah, that's, you shouldn't really do that in a marina, should you? Shouldn't really leave your engine running all day. Anyway, then this morning, I, got away, I woke up just after seven with that engine going again. And as I say, it's got a cracked exhaust. Or some, it's not, the exhaust isn't right, so it's a lot louder than it should be anyway. But there is a rule out on the canal when we're out there. We can only use our jennies between eight and eight. I mean, it's not a rule. It's, it's courtesy. It's, a, it's an unwritten... It's not the law, put it that way. So you could still do it, but you'll piss people off. And I guess that's the same for running your engine, unless you're actually moving. Because, of course, there's no restriction on when you can actually drive your boat. But, you know, if you park next to another boat and you've got your generator on at 7 o'clock in the morning or your engine on at 7 o'clock in the morning, I don't think that's right. Well, it's not right, is it? Because it peeves you. It's bloody annoyance. But then also, as I say, on the marina, I'm pretty sure... This is where I'm asking you, anyone else who's got boats or on a marina, um, are you supposed to run your engines for hours upon hours when you're sitting in a bloody marina? Because we had the boat next to us doing it for a while until I had a word of him. Um, because... I think they use, they have to heat their water through their Carillerify thing, so they haven't got a, an instant heater thing. So that's why they do it, I think, and to obviously charge their batteries. And of course the exhaust comes straight into your boat, doesn't it? If you're sitting next to it and the exhaust is in, in the wrong place, I guess, um, you know, I was getting headaches and I was feeling sick with that, so I, you know, I had bad words out, we don't get much of that anymore. And uh, so long as we're the other way round, you know, having it on for a little while don't matter. But when you have it on for three, four, five, six, seven hours, is that right? Because I don't bloody think it's right. Let me tell you, if he's next to us 
and doing that, I'd have told him, if you don't turn it off, he's going in the bloody canal. Bye. Here he goes again. how long it's going to keep his engine on tonight it's not right I tell you it's not right right then now imagine that say 50 boats here did the same as he's doing now in the marina I just think it's ignorant to be honest with you I'll get Ben onto it because she'll complain and she can hear it all the smoke as well. Mind you, ours smokes a bit, but that's worse than ours. By the way, we're getting towards seven o'clock in the evening now. Oh, and the other thing the video is probably not picking up, there's a high-pitched whine as well, which is, um, you know, when your diesel plugs make that noise to tell you to start the or not to start the engine, you know what I mean. Some boats make this beep noise. Well, is he staying on because he hasn't turned his ignition off? Yep, I got woken up by it again this morning. Am I being moany or would it irritate you? I'm sitting in the crutch now and you can clearly hear it again in the background, obviously. So yeah, what do you do, eh? What do you do? Happy Fridays, by the way. <laughs> Speak to you in a bit, bye. Poor Hector. He's just found a little gap between all the shit that I'm getting ready for camping. <laughs> so I thought I'd get the Jackery out today. I'm going to just bring the Jackery 1000 for this one. For this uh, little... I think we're away for three nights, four days. So I think this will have enough power in it without messing around with, with panels. Although we have got electrical hookup. Um, so you might think, well, why am I taking the Jackery? Well, it's because any power I use from this is free, isn't it? Because it's obviously already charged, it charged on solar um, on the last camping trip. And this is something I wanted to just show you. So the last camping trip we did, um, this came back at 100% because we brought a couple of panels for it. And uh, it's now been sitting on the boat for around a month. And you think, well, it's going to have lost a little bit of its 100% because all batteries seem to kind of lose a little bit, don't they, if you don't use them. I'm sure you've been in that situation before. But watch this. And I swear to God, I haven't charged this or anything. So this is still got 100%. So it hasn't lost any power at all. And that's one of the good things about the Jackeries. So, there, I mean, the reason I chose Jackery over the Delta, Delta Flow and all that sort of stuff was, one, because I do like the solar panels for the Jackeries because I think they just fold down so small. And uh, I love the magnetic clasp. And also the, reason, the, the fact that these don't lose charge when they're sitting doing nothing. So I can't believe that's still at 100%. I expect to see it about 96. But, yeah, there you go. Bye. And I can still hear that fucking boat. Well, it's a rather lovely evening, I have to say. He finally turned his engine off at about 2.15. So that was going for, I don't know, six and a half odd hours in all. Six, six and a half hours. Fucking pest. So and I'm sure that'll start again this evening. Well... I think we're just about at the end of this vlog. I think we must be up to um, near enough half hour and I've got stuff to do. We've got, we're having a Chinese and we've got to do loads of packing and stuff. So I better get start getting this uploaded. But I thought I'd better tell you because I'm sure I haven't mentioned it. And it's ridiculous I haven't mentioned it because we've got a massive special offer going on at the moment. Did you know that you can subscribe, you can like and you can share for absolutely no charge at all? What a deal that is, everybody. <laughs> anyway, hope you have a fabulous weekend. Have a fabulous week coming. I'm really looking forward to going camping. And I think we're gonna try and do, so long as we got proper Tinterweb or decent, um, you know, Wi-Fi bollocks on our phones at the campsite, we might do a The Vlog Couple. What is it? Let's go. No, I can't even remember what it is because I'm so excited. <laughs> Carry on camping with The Vlog Couple live, I say. Sunday night, I reckon, about eight o'clock. 
Now, uh, I'm, we're going to have to do that on uh, Hannah the Narrowboats channel rather than the vlog couple because I'm not sure how we stand below because we haven't got a thousand subscribers. We're not monetized or anything on the vlog couple's channel. Obviously, we gave all that up so we could talk even more shit on here. So remember that. So um, I'll put that on the community page on Hannah the Narrowboats channel because, again, we can't have a community page on this vlog couple one because we haven't got a thousand subscribers. And um, we've almost got up to the watch hours now, which is fantastic. So you have to have 4,000 watch hours per year. And we're near as damn it got that. But as I say, we're still very low on the subscribers. We're only about 400 and something. So we need that to go up to 1,000 before we do that. So that's why we'll go live on Hannah the Narrowboat. So, but I will put something on our social media, uh, as I say, on the community page on Hannah the Narrowboat's um, YouTube. And you've heard it here. Anyway, see you all soon. Love you. Bye.